Hey guys, um, I want to show you some uh, changes that I've done to my wizard recently, um, as well as getting uh, telemetry set up to work with uh, the, my Tyrannus. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through how I did all this. Um, first thing I did um, was change the way um, that I mounted my, uh, my uh, VTX antenna. Um, the, old, the old VTX that came out the top here, um, uh, I snapped it off twice. Uh, I was able to put it back together and solder it on, um, but it, it never worked quite as good from that point on. Um, so I went ahead and bought this cheap, uh, I think it's a TX526 off Banggood uh, that has a straight uh, RPSMA. And so I just hooked my uh, Omway into that, um, but I zip tie it to the antenna versus zip tying it to the, the uh the SMA connector here that goes on the board. So that way, if I get in a bad wreck, it's gonna snap the zip tie um, off of here, not off of here, reducing the risk of actually breaking this. Um, the other thing uh, that I did was I uh, put this Foxier Monster on. Um, so basically all I did was uh, remove these little nylon nuts, pull the flight controller off and um, and right here on the power the uh, the uh, power distribution board, uh, the that's where the wires uh, from the camera go. Um, and so basically, I just unsoldered those and soldered on the ones from the uh, Fox Ear camera plug. Um, and so that was pretty. That was a really easy thing to install. Um, just required very little soldering. Um, and the Fox Ear Monster also comes with this little. Uh, this little pigtail for the OSD so you can adjust the OSD. So I just kind of leave it right there. And then when my top plate is on, if I need to adjust the OSD, I can just reach in with some, you know, um, tweezers or something and pull that wire out and plug it out. I don't even have to take the top off. Um, the next thing I did uh, was I've installed a, a buzzer. And so basically uh, I, I got, I got the uh, buzzer off of uh, Joshua Bardwell's uh, channel. He showed how to install that. Um, so if you want to figure out uh, how to install that, just go search for uh, the video on his channel. I won't go through that here. Um, the next thing I did was um, I wanted to, originally I had a, a, a X8R uh, receiver that came with my Tyrannus in here, and it was huge. Like, I, I had trouble really finding a good spot for it. I, I had it here, but a lot of times, you know, it was way up into the camera space. Um so I bought this tiny little X4R uh, that has the telemetry built, you know, the, the X8R has telemetry also, but um, I didn't really explore doing the telemetry with that um, until I got a little more advanced and could figure this stuff out. Um, so basically, um, I had the antennas run up these back posts and zip tied off here. I haven't had any issues with uh, breakage yet on those. I, di I did snap these off in a crash, um, but it just broke the zip ties. Um, but anyways, uh, one thing I do suggest, uh, as you can see, the, the, the antennas come loose pretty easily. Um, so you, you probably want to put a little hot glue on it. Like this one came loose cause I was kind of pulling on it, trying to get this, uh, smart port telemetry stuff put in. So I'll have to open that back up and put this antenna back on and put a, put a little hot glue on there. Um, but yeah, inside here, the, the antennas, the nice thing about them, they're, they are replaceable. Um, so you, they just snap onto the, the uh, post. So I bought some extra antennas. Um, so as far as the smart port or the telemetry setup goes, oh, let me show you one other thing. So the receiver uh, wire that plugs into the S bus here plugs in to the, uh, the S bus on here. So on the X4R, there will be the red ports. Um, one of them says SB plus minus. Just make sure your white wire is going to the SB and then your, your red is your positive and your black is ground when you plug that wire in. Um, now I'm going to cover the, uh, the telemetry setup with the X4R and the wizard. Um, so it's, it was actually really easy to set up, um, at least on the quad part. Uh, the Tyrannus, a uh, little more uh, involved to get, get alarms set up and stuff, but I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through that in one sec. Um, but anyways, what you're going to need is th this kind of plug. It's a J. It's a four-pin 
I'll, and I'll put the link in the description where I bought these, but it's a four pin JSTSH connector. And that's what you need to hook into the flight controller here on UART2. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna count over from, from, from the back of the quad, one, two, the third wire is the wire you wanna keep. So that's the TX on the UART2. So that's, that's where you're gonna to wanna to hook, hook that into. So what I did was, um, okay, I just used a pair of tweezers and popped up these little uh, tabs here on this thing and you can just pull these wires out, you know, and save the wires for something else, uh, something later. Um, and you just wanna make sure that you leave that third wire. So when this is plugged in, It's going to be the flat part facing up. So, so really, if, if you're looking at it from the top down with the, the, the pins up, it's going to be the second pin over. But then when you plug it in, you're going to flip it. Uh, so that's going to be your third pin over. Um, and so, yeah, you can get these. I got these off Hobby, Hobby King. Uh, so I'll, like I said, I'll put a link in the description for these. Um, so then what you're going to do is the wire, when you buy this X4R, there will be a wire that comes with it. Um, that goes into the smart port. Um, you want basically what you want to do is keep the yellow wire off that. So I just removed all the other wires, kept the yellow wire. I trimmed that pretty short, and then I just basically soldered these two wires together, and that's really it. You're you're done with the telemetry setup on the quad. You just make make sure that this is plugged into UART two on the third third pin and hook that back into the um, smart port on the on the far yeah, on the fourth pin over on that guy. And you're done with that. So to configure Betaflight, you're going to first go in and go to your ports tab. And uh, for UART2, under telemetry output, you're going to click this drop down and select smart port. Save and reboot. And then you're going to go to configuration and you're going to scroll down to other features and you're going to want to enable telemetry. Save and reboot. Now I'll switch over and show you the Tyrannus setup. Now that you have, um, now that you have your quad configured through Betaflight um, for the telemetry, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your, your, your uh, transmitter. Um, and you're going to want to go uh, to your model page. So select your Wizard 220 model page over until you get to telemetry. So when you're on the telemetry screen, uh, go down and... Um, and you'll see discover new sensors hit enter on that and make sure that you've powered your quad up have a battery plugged into your quad first um, discover new sensors and that will go through and discover all the sensors that are being uh, transmitted uh, and you should have about 12. Uh, if you only have four i think that means that you have something hooked up wrong or you haven't enabled something um, so anyways uh you're and if you're interested so your rssi is your signal strength um, and then your, your uh, VFAS is going to be where your battery voltage shows up. Um, so what you can do then is um, if you page over, go back down and go to logical switches. So on logical switches, um, you're going to want to hit um, uh, enter and just copy what I have. You have uh, a, less than, uh, a less than X and you want VFAS on that, and then you wanna set what, what your minimum uh, battery voltage is um, that you want. So if I'm running a four cell, when it gets down to about 15.2, 15.1, 5, then I wanna be notified that my battery's starting to get low. And that's the total for all, all four cells. Um, so set that to the value, um, and then I have one for uh, for, RSSI. So once it gets down to about 34 uh, decibels, then I want to be notified that my signal strength is getting low. So once you set those logical switches up, 
And then what you can do is go over to special functions. So, so hit page one more time. And then in special functions, you can hit enter and say on logical switch one here. So edit that, change that to logical switch one. Um, I want to play track low back. And so it, it'll bring up a list of different things that it can play and a low battery and then hit, um, hit go to there. And there, here you can select how often it does. So you can say, I want to do it one time and don't do it anymore. Um, I want to do it every, so I have it set to remind me every 20 seconds that my battery's low. Um, and that will, that way you can hear it over your, your, your Tyrannus versus having to, you know, look, look at the screen or see it. You can hear it warning you so you can keep your goggles on. Um, and I also set up one on L3 play track signal low every 10 seconds. So if it falls below 35 dB, then it's going to give me this signal low. Um, and so that, that's it, uh, on the setup here. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or a better way to do this. Um, the one thing I hadn't figured out yet is how to, to do it on a per cell basis uh, for the battery voltage. Um, I would like it to work, you know, with a three cell or a four cell, um, but I haven't figured that out yet. I don't know if there's a way to do it. If you know a way to do it, uh, leave a comment and I'd, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, uh, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, like or subscribe. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks.